Congress. As you know, our government under Prime Minister Harper's leadership has been the strongest in the world in standing for the human dignity and rights of the Tamil people. <laughs> done so in many ways, but most notably through Prime Minister Harper's decision to boycott the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Colombo because it was being chaired by former President Rajapaksa, whose regime was guilty of unspeakable crimes against the Sri Lankan people, not only the Tamil people of Sri Lanka, but a people of all origins. And the Rajapaksa regime was clearly against the rule of law, and failed to hold to account those responsible for the worst human rights violations in the, at the end of the Civil War, uh, and regrettably failed to grasp the opportunity for peace and reconciliation, uh, which would have been through respect and dialogue but instead chose a posture of uh, power, suppression, and division, which uh, re regrettably uh, continue to deny uh, the Tamil and other minority communities of Sri Lanka their uh, rightful place in that society. And so this is why Prime Minister Harper was the first Commonwealth head of government to indicate that he would not be attending the Chogam in Colombo two years ago. He was widely criticized in Parliament and in our media for this decision, as he has often been criticized for taking principled positions in our foreign policy. But Harper, Prime Minister Harper's view, my view, is that Canada should not follow, we should lead. We should not seek out some imaginary neutral middle ground between tyranny on the one hand and democracy on the other, between oppression on one hand and human dignity on the other. We should be a principal champion of human dignity on the world stage, everywhere, including in Sri Lanka. And that is why he was the first Commonwealth head of government to announce a boycott of the Chogun in Colombo. That's right. He was criticized, but we stood by our decision as an expression of our refusal to lend Canada's credibility to the uh, tainted regime of the Rajapaksas. And I am pleased to tell you that through Prime Minister Harper's strong leadership, the rest, much of the rest of the world followed. As you know, Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Sri Dr. Manoban Singhji of India followed his decision by refusing to attend the meeting in Colombo, and over half of the Commonwealth heads of governments boycotted the Rajapaksa meeting, turning it from a celebration of his leadership to an embarrassment, and we believe that was the beginning of the end of the Rajapaksa regime, and the, be and the new beginning of the Also, as a government, provided millions of dollars of assistance to projects by non-governmental organizations in Sri Lanka to assist the victims of the Civil War, to uh, search for the whereabouts of the missing people, to provide a stronger voice for civil liberties and human rights organizations in Sri Lanka to promote reconciliation. And these are messages that I personally uh, conveyed on a trip to Sri Lanka uh, in January of 2013. And so today I am pleased to be here with Leslie Lewis uh, and Roshan to Nalratkam to announce that the re-elected Conservative government will take additional measures to support peace and reconciliation in Sri Lanka. First of all, uh, a re-elected conservative government will be at the forefront in advocating for the expeditious return of Sri Lanka's internally displaced people to their own land for the rebuilding of their lives and towards the prosperity of the nation 
uh, and the stability of the region. We will also press for the independent international investigation justice and facilitate reconciliation. We will press for the return of seized land, provide material support to the internally displaced, sponsor rehabilitation and relief efforts for the victims of war, including the war widows, and ensure that vital assistance is delivered to the communities that need it the most. We will Sri Lankan government to respect its own constitution and the rights of regions to seek a degree of autonomy in the governance of their own affairs. And finally, I'm pleased to announce, uh, this, is an, this is an unprecedented and historic commitment, that a re-elected conservative government will open a Canadian consular diplomatic office in Jaffa. personnel periodically visit Jaffna and uh, however it is a long seven hour trip by road to go there and come back uh, and their visits are uh, by nature uh, occasional and periodic visits. This will be a there will be a Cana full time Canadian Consul General stationed at the new Canadian Diplomatic Consulate in Jaffna able to provide a certain degree of consular services, and also to be a, a diplomatic a listening post for Canadian interests in the north of Sri Lanka. No other party that I know of has ever made this a commitment. Uh, this is a significant expansion of the Canadian presence and footprint in Sri Lanka. And with your support, we will achieve this through a re-elected Conservative government. Thank you very much. Thank you. 